Hi everyone, I'm back and today I would like to give you some updates of what's been happening these past weeks and the reason why I haven't posted for almost a month. Yeah. So I've been really sick these past weeks. I feel like vomiting all the time. I actually vomited already. <laughs> and also my blood pressure is very high. Even with the medication it's still high and headache and a lot of things because of that my nephrologist decided to uh schedule for peritoneal dialysis and i was up and i was supposed to have that second week of november but unfortunately we're not able to get a date yet because of covid so um considering my situation he she advised me to do hemodialysis instead so i'm having an appointment in few hours and i'm honestly scared <laughs> yeah i'm scared i'm scared because of all the imaginations in my mind but i guess that's normal um yeah i'm scared and i also i'm very hungry because i need to go for uh <clears throat> I, I cannot um, eat like six hours prior to the procedure and my appointment is at 1 p.m. so I didn't eat last night and then today I actually wake up around 6 30 to just drink water or some milk like that <clears throat> and that's everything and I'm very hungry now <laughs> I can't wait to finish the procedure and I can eat because I'm really shaking <laughs> So anyway, um, yeah, I'm preparing for my IJ catheter insertion today. And um, after that, I'll be having my dialysis tomorrow. So yeah, that's the update at the moment. And I have to prepare and go now because it's almost time. So yeah, I'll see you again later. Procedure is done, and I'm just um, recovering, I guess. <laughs> it's not so bad, actually. It's not painful at all. It's just a little bit discomfort here, but it's not so bad. Um, I did a uh, sedation, uh, mild sedation, and um, freezing, so I didn't feel that much. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. I think it's just for 45 minutes and it's done. Yeah, so I'm just um, yeah, uh, recovering, I guess, waiting for my husband to pick me up and at the same time um, yeah, being monitored. I'm being, being monitored to make sure that I'm fine before leaving the hospital. Not so bad. Okay. Hi, so this is the 28th day since I did the procedure. I was hoping to I was hoping to feel better and continue the video but unfortunately it takes so much time and then I think I cannot wait that long. It's already like two weeks and I can't say that it's totally gone because there's still like it hurts still when I, especially when I'm doing my dialysis it's kind of hurt sometimes so it's not totally free but uh, I thought of trying to finish the video instead so um, 
after after that procedure i felt like it's not really painful but as time goes by i started to feel pain here in both like in, where they insert the tube and then here where they when they insert the when they insert it into my veins it was really painful like very painful that i begged them to just remove it because it's very hard to move and it's yeah uh, it's very it's bothering me um sorry about that <laughs> and i cannot i cannot even change my clothes i cannot i just cannot move at all because every time i try to move it hurts and the pain is really bad that it feels like it's pulling all my veins in my neck so i think that's uh that's a uh, bad experience i guess um they said that it should be like normally it should be just sore for two days like that but unfortunately it's different for me and we were hoping that uh, maybe the blood will clot in maybe a day but unfortunately it's different again for me i did have an active bleeding the following day and then the following day and some blood clots on the third day so i think that's kind of different from the normal and they think that um these things are happening because of my structure uh they said i'm small so uh it's very sen this uh, this kind of uh, procedure is very sensitive to my body compared to a regular person and then they also say that uh, it's because probably that I am thin I don't have much fat so there's might be a lot of damage when they try to insert the tube going under my skin uh, I think it's called tunneling tunneling going through the veins over here yeah it's it's from from here and then going up to the veins the vein is under the under the collarbone so um yeah it was it was hard because i have to go to the dialysis the following day and looking back i wish i can ask them to maybe like give me more time to you know like recover because it's really tough it's like i'm having this pain and i have to adjust with that dialysis and dialysis itself has also its own side effects and these were my these are my my first sessions so I feel like it's too much for me and yeah I remember I remember myself crying in front of the doctor kind of like asking them to just remove it it's just because it's it's really painful but um, I'm glad I was I'm feeling better um, the pain is the pain in the bottom is gone it's only in here that's a bit you know like a bit painful but it's not as bad as it was um and also i can al already move so that's my ig catheter experience and i thought of sharing some tips as well just in case you're gonna have to do the same procedure and this might also help you so first before you do the procedure make sure you have a full bath because they won't allow you to take a bath and it would be hard to take a bath after the procedure because of pains and then they don't want anything to be wet to avoid any infection so that's the first thing to make sure and then second uh, if you're gonna have a, a procedure in the afternoon like mine mine is 1 p.m make sure to eat something it's really hard to have an empty stomach um, i tried to eat something i tried to drink milk but it's still not enough and I'm, I was really hungry. Third, uh, prepare some clothes that are loose, um, that are easy to wear. And if you have a clothes that has a V-shape, then it's better, like V-shape like that, or like a with a buttons or zipper in the middle. So it's easier to do the dressing. And also if you're gonna do dialysis, then it's easier to just use it. And third, make sure that someone is there to pick you up because that's one policy of the hospital and they cannot let you do the procedure without that person. So just make sure you have someone. And also, um, after the procedure, uh, you have to be 
uh, be aware of the complications so in case you have like excess bleeding or like extreme pain then it's best to report it in my case they did some x-ray after the procedure the day after the procedure because i was so much in pain but good thing it was in place there's no there's no any complication i'm just you know i'm just a small that's why i have a lot of pains that's what they always say so i i would really try to gain weight oh maybe you can also try if you are small like me and thin like me because the pain is really not funny at all <laughs> And lastly, if there's a way that you can have a rest to be healed before doing dialysis, then maybe take that because having the dialysis after the procedure is kind of tough. And I think it's best to just wait until you know you feel a little bit better and then go through dialysis and then try to adjust again. So I think it's kind of like you know one at a time. I think that's. Uh, that's the best thing to do unless it's really an emergency dialysis then we need to bear with the pain so uh, that's everything um, I hope that I hope this one helps and um, let's all stay strong soon we're gonna be soon we're all gonna be healthy thank you guys for watching God bless you all and have a great weekend bye